G'day guys, Evan from Unsealed 4x4. And we're back at the Nata Test Lab, and this time we've got some winch rope. Now this is a big question for anyone that's looking to buy a winch, or maybe already has a winch and thinking about upgrading. What's going to be better, synthetic rope or steel? Now obviously there's a weight advantage, this is quite heavy, but we don't really know what's going to happen when they break, or if they are the weak link. So what we want to do, put them on this destruction bed and just observe what actually happens when these two types of cables snap. Will one go flying into the air? Will they just fall to the ground? We don't know, so we're going to find out. Pretty interesting guys, it turns out the thimble was the weakest link in this rope. The rope itself is fine, it's not burnt, it's not damaged, it's still in really good nick. So the benefit here is you could actually re-splice this to get yourself out of trouble. Um, so the thimble's actually popped out or melted through at about 4.8 tonne. Now this sharp edge on the thimble here, that's definitely contributed to the problem there but the rope itself is fine. I think we should probably take a closer look and see if we can actually break this because in an emergency situation, this is still very usable. And as you saw from the footage, it just sort of ran out of steam and fell to the ground. It's a really safe item. Alright, so how's this for a result? Um, the wire cable didn't snap either, but basically it's sort of unraveled itself from the drum end. The crimp itself has held up well, but as you can see, the rest of this rope just looks like a medieval torture tool. It's just awful and sharp. Um, I don't even really want to touch that, to be honest. It did break a little bit higher up compared to the synthetic rope. This broke at 6.1 tonne. So there's probably a little bit more strength in this, but considering how much nicer and soft and fluffy <laughs> that is, um, I'd probably rather have that coming at my head than, than that, to be honest. That's scary. So I guess if you're in more rural applications, a farmer and you're a bit harder on your gear, the wire rope probably makes a lot more sense. But for an everyday four-wheel driver, I think it's pretty clear to see that synthetic rope is just a hell of a lot safer. 